What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be reacting to the 10th episode of Kuma 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 Bear. This one's titled Bear Goes to Sea. Um, so I guess we're going on a boat somewhere. I don't know, we're visiting a port town or maybe it's a beach episode. I'm really not quite sure where they're going with this, but uh, yeah, we kind of left it. We kind of left it on a decent ending point last point where we could just go do anything at this point. We don't really have any other commitments. Um, well, we do have the shop. Uh, Bear Haven, or the restaurant, I should say, um, because, yeah, I mean, we've been hinting at it for a while, the way she makes food, the pudding, the cheeseburgers, the pizzas, it's like, okay, we're eventually going to have, uh, eventually going to have a restaurant here, and they've been mentioning it a lot, and yes, she did it, so that's now two shows where an Eastside character has now opened up a shop of some description. We have a laundry service in By the Grace of the Gods, and we now have a restaurant in Kuma 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 Bear. Uh, we also had, uh, somewhat recently, A Sense of a Bookworm uh, had, uh, what you call it, I mean, pfft. also taking over an orphanage, just like this. It's like, it's crazy how Isekai stories and slice of life Isekai stories are starting to deviate to this type of format. Uh, I would not be surprised if more shows in the future started going this route as well, uh, as opposed to just having the typical adventurer trying to save the world route, we also have the, like, Slice of life, create a living for yourself route, uh, because it's honestly quite interesting the way they can do that, and bringing modern practices over into this world, uh, like such as cuisine or standards of like laundry services and stuff like that, you know. Anyway, uh, so yeah, last time we opened up the shop, we met, uh, what were their names, uh, from the bakery, Morin and Karen, who uh, were unfortunately being evicted essentially because they couldn't repay uh, the money that they borrowed to have the place, uh, because they were just a shady corporation as per usual, it's always like, when you borrow money, uh, if you're trying to repay it, it's probably because they're being really shitty about it, and they were, um, so we offer them an opportunity to come to Cremonia to open up, uh, Bearhaven restaurants, we've got the orphanage, uh, kids as staff as well, the cute outfits, which is just incredible, um, and thanks to, uh, Cliff, uh, because we have that connection there. We uh, investigated them and found out, yeah, they were uh, illegally exorbitant with their loan. Uh, so we've got that squared away, and they can go back to that place. They can go back and set up the bakery again, but they actually decide to stay here in Cremonia uh, with this uh, group that we've now had, and yeah, start start afresh um, with the option to go back to the capital at some point as well, which is nice. So now we're on to C. I have no idea where this is going, I really don't, so I'm just going to shut up and let it explain, basically. As per usual, these are time-based format reactions. Bottom left of the screen, you're going to see the time for the episode. I will count down 3, 2, 1, play. And on play, you start the episode, I start the episode, and we will be in sync. Watch this one on Funimation, as per usual, since that's who's lighted it this season. Although, Crunchyroll and Funimation are partnering. Uh, well, they're not partnering. Sony bought out Crunchyroll, I think is how it works. The, the news just came out half an hour ago as I'm recording this on the Crunchyroll's page. I have no idea what that deal entails, but as long as shows are still getting licensed, I couldn't care less. I'd rather that they use Crunchyroll's player than Funimation's player, because Funimation's player is so annoying for scrolling back, and uh, it's just a better experience on Crunchyroll. But Funimation killed it this season with what simulcast they got. Crunchyroll has, like, nothing this season, relatively speaking. They got all, like, the smaller shows, but they didn't get any of the big hits. And I think for that reason, they really messed up this season. And normally it's a 50-50 split. This season, though, Funimation crushed it. And if Funimation can continue to license both their shows and Crunchyroll shows and, like, get as many shows as they can, then I'm not going to complain about this merger thing, whatever they're going for. It's still going to be a ways away anyway, probably. It won't happen until, like, late next year, I imagine. Nothing in business ever goes that fast. Anyway... Uh, let's just get into this episode. We've got Kalakawa logo to start, and then Funimation logo, which ends up being, what, about uh, 11 seconds of logos? Near enough. Uh, so that will help you sync up as well. You can also see screen flash on my face or the mic to tell when he's transitioning. So, with all that said, let's get into this week's episode, shall we? In 3, 2, 1, play. Kalakawa. And Funimation. Cheers to that. Get the feeling we'll be saying that a lot in future. We have phones now. 
Okay, she's made a phone. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Where the hell are we? <laughs> Where on earth are we? Oh, we're crossing mountains, Jesus Christ. Where are we going? Those are a lot of mountains. Huge mountain ranges. Alright, here we go. Oh, got down adorable. <laughs> oh, boy. Mm hmm. True. <laughs> okay. Why is she not seen? Ah, oh, okay. So now, okay. Now I'm saying Bear goes to sea. Wow. Uh. <laughs> My stomach isn't in pain, it's just sad. Uh. Yes. Yeah. And that's why she's going to the sea. Aha, we're going to a port town. Gotta to get through the mountains. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> How is that mountains, Jesus Christ? Oh, not even part of our kingdom. Interesting. More or less. And that's why we're going there. <laughs> yep. <laughs> That's true.
It's all for food. <laughs> yeah. That's true. I forget what the type of uh, fish it is, but if you prepare it wrong, it kills you. I forget what the name of it is. I think it began with an F. Is it Fugu? Fogo? Not Fogo. <laughs> Fucking Fogo the <to> chow. <laughs> no, I think it's Fugu. I think it's Fugu is the name of the fish. Oh, shit. Victims. Jesus. Oh, they're alive. Holy shit. Who is Fishman? What are you here for, then? What are you up in the mountains for? <laughs> they're adorable. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Right. Tuh. Like mines. <laughs> oh, as a oh, okay. We're gonna go fight a kraken. All right. Holy shit! We're gonna go fight a kraken. Mm. Oh shit. Oh boy, what now? And there's thieves on the land route. Oh boy. Basically under siege. Yeah, not part of the kingdom. Why would they risk it? Yeah. Make it part of the kingdom. This is where you step in, I think. No. Mm-hmm. Yes, that too. Oh, going back. Right. Mm hmm. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> what else is it meant to look like? Place is deserted, isn't it? Yeah. Basically, no one's happy. Yeah. Town's basically under siege. Oof. 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 Ah! Mm hmm Yeah. Yeah. But there's so little. No oh boy. He has a point, but still. Hmm. Very abrasive, but he has a point. 
Yale Master Echo. Let me just go to him first. Hmm. Yeah, they. Hmm. So we're gonna go fight a Kraken. Lie. Yep. Summer Grumbles have some of the best timing of any phenomenon in anime, I swear. Uh. Oh. Yep. Mm-hmm. We sending them back, or are we going to... Holy shit. Holy shit, just dump a bunch of meat. Okay. Is this the leader of Adventurous Guild? It's the last character from the OP we haven't met yet. Or is this an in owner? <laughs> uh, wow. She's the Guildmaster. Oh, I love that little wink. That was. Yeah, okay. Mm hmm. <laughs> Mm. Yep. It's a weird effect on her hair when she was laughing there. I don't know what that was, but. Precisely, yeah, she's from Cremonia. Yep. 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 She has quite the history. <laughs> Complete different. <laughs> I love it. Yep. I like her a lot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just to cope. <laughs> oh no. Uh Okay. Jesus! Jesus! Uh. Yeah, she's staying anyway. Wow, okay. Are they already harvested? Or do we still have a lot of wolf corpses? <laughs> she could do a good sleep, yeah. Yep, 
Holy shit, so much. Merchant Guild is not going to be happy with this. There's no way the Merchant Guild's happy. How long before he starts to close the scene? Yeah, there he is. Didn't close the scene, though. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Fish with that. Hmm. Wow. <laughs> yeah, she does. <laughs> Gotta deal with a Kraken first for that, though. See, town's already starting to bustle. Mm hmm. You've got to stop. You've got a bit of a solution. Jesus. Yeah, it is. It won't. Sure about that? For now. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> that should be easy. Are we suspecting the Merchant's Guild for imposing these thieves? Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Oh, who's this? I think we're suspecting the Merchant's Guild here. I mean, look at that face. <laughs> we're suspecting him. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh. Oh. Mm-hmm. Adorable. And of course we still have that family as well. Oh, who's sneaking around? Yep. Yep. She doesn't have a suit on, does she? Who is it? Nice. I'm free getting in charge while sleeping. Uh. Mm -hmm. You be careful what you say. Oh, 
Oh boy. <laughs> Holy shit. They actually look really menacing. <laughs> Holy shit. Holy shit. Okay. How would you know? There's obviously an insider. Oh, there we go. Let's just deal with the problem there and then. Oh boy. Mm hmm. Got plenty of food. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> I think the second one's more important to her. Boy. Holy shit. Of course this works up there. Oh boy. <laughs> ah, I don't think there's any end credits here. We'll just get next episode. But hey, Band of Thieves dealt with. I thought we'd reveal that they had some sort of influence with um, uh, the uh, Merchant Guild. That's where I was expecting it to go. I still think they might. Because he's so shifty. I think the Kraken is just generally there was a Kraken that came and this is just a problem. But I feel like the Thieves were a set up by, by uh, the Merchant Guild almost. Such a catchy ED, I love it. But we have now met everyone in this uh, OP and ED, so that's nice. Alright, next time. Bear fights squid? <laughs> okay. Well, it's not quite a squid, it's more of a kraken, but sure, whatever. Um... Yeah, we're going to go fight a Kraken. But we have to do it in his territory, or their territory, whatever it is. Um, which is going to be a bit of an issue, I suppose. Hmm. It's weak to fire, so we do have that option. When we attack it, we'll do well. The problem is, how do we actually attack it? Do we get it out of the water somehow? Do we have to get on a boat and fight from the boat? Because that seems very risky. Um, I'm curious to how we can get around that. Because this is the first real opponent where we actually have a bit of a disadvantage. Because we're fighting in its terrain, essentially. And its weakness is very well nullified by the terrain it's in. So it actually becomes more of an issue to actually deal with. Um, I'm sure it's going to go well anyway, just because Yuna. But I'm actually kind of curious to see how they go with it. Hmm. Again, why? how does she make a phone? I mean, yeah, some form of magic or something. They didn't really explain how they made it. Maybe they explained it a little more in the source material. I have no idea. Uh, but... We have a phone now, so we can just talk to uh, Fina whenever we want to, which is nice. Uh, it's adorable. 
but it's kind of weird in its own way. Um, yeah, good episode overall. Uh, we've, for now, sorted out their uh, crisis and as a temporary measure. We've got, we're getting rid of the thieves, so we can now at least start the road trade and have supplies bought in that way. But we still need to deal with the, uh, the Kraken to help this uh, fishing town out. So we'll work on that, I suppose. And yeah, we finally met um, Atla, uh, who is played by Kana Asumi, who has played, uh, was a character in uh, Princess Connect, uh, playing Mrs. Hudson from uh, Moriarty the Patriot, is a character from High School Fleet, uh, is also in Boca Ben, I believe. Yep, is uh, a character from Boca Ben. Uh, what else? A character from Further Than the Universe, uh, 10, centimeters, 10 centimeters apart, uh, side character in Sunshine, character in the Sequoia and uh, Morganaria, in Monogatari. So, yeah, been around, was in Madoka Magica, has been fairly active for a long time now, actually. God, Wagnaria is from Twin. Wagnaria series is 10 years old. Holy shit. I did. It doesn't feel 10 years old. I mean, so is Angel Beats. Angel Beats is 10 years old at this point. That's crazy to me. Toradora is from 2008. Toradora is 12 years old. Nuts. It's it's crazy how some of these shows are that old now to me. Thankfully, I only watched them like in the past five years. I've been watching anime for a long time already. Uh, not as long as a lot of people, but I'm sure it's just going to continue. I mean, I intend to watch anime until I'm old and grey. I really do. Uh, so in about five years' time, <laughs> no. Uh, no grades just yet for me. I think I'm only 24, I shouldn't be getting grades just yet. Um, yep, good episode again. Uh, bear going to see makes sense. I mean, for, again, I should have guessed it would be for Cuisine, because she thinks with her gut. <laughs> and she just wants to eat. Um, so, yeah. Good episode, and for the finale, we're going to fight a Kraken. And then I don't know what beyond that. We still have one more episode after that. I guess it'll just be visiting a bunch of different people and just being like a general recap and having fun, blah, 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 is how I imagine the episode's going to go. Or they'll cliffhanger the Kraken fight as much closer than it ultimately ended up being. One or the other. But uh, yeah, that's going to do it for today, guys. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one as per usual. Leave a like if you did. It helps grow the channel out, as do your comments on what you thought of the episode. Don't forget to subscribe as well to see you next week's episode, as well as the rest of the full 2020 like you can find on my channel. Uh, we're very, very close, actually, to hitting 500 subs. I think we're still just one sub away, because, god damn it, of course we are. Um, let's see. Yep, still 499. <laughs> god damn it. Just an absolute tease. So just one more person to sub, and we would hit our 500 goal, which would be absolutely incredible, and I would be absolutely blown away. And we can aim for 750 next time out next season, with all the sequels ever returning as well. So thank you for watching, and until next time, see you guys later.